hey, what I, what I want to have you on the show about today was uh, lots of stuff that you and I could talk about. But, uh, you know, we talk, you talk about every day, you talk about topics and, you know, what's the current political thing of the day. And, and uh, I don't think we get to talk about you. Uh, a lot, you know, yeah. you know, Chad Prather kind of tick and, and, you know, I've, I've got to know you for a little while now. And, and uh, we joked about, you know, you starting in your truck, but really you started in your truck and, uh, yeah. and, and you just, you know, I'm sure you were successful before. You just seem like a successful dude, but like you watched you move from your truck to having a YouTube channel to being on the blaze and, you know, reaching millions of people with comedy because uh, you're, you're funny but taking that comedy and that platform of comedy and talking about some very important things in our country uh, and, and our world and, and really bringing th things to, to light. And then, you know, now you're going from that to taking that platform and, and running for governor of Texas. And, uh, you know, because you're so passionate, you're so patriot, patriot, so passionate about issues in our country. So, you know, of all those things, like what makes you, what drives you, what motivates you, what makes you tick to be able to uh, have the passion to do these things? Well, you know, the, uh, I, you and I have talked about it a little bit. I've got a book coming out first week in September. The name of the book is Am I Crazy? And yeah. people can pre-order it now. The answer to that is yes, I must be crazy. Uh, you got to be crazy to deal with this world, right? The world's gone crazy. And, and one of the things that I'm kind of harping on right now is this theorem, if you will, that, that uh, politics, it, it runs downstream from culture and culture runs downstream from religion. So what you're worshiping is always going to determine your culture and your culture is always gonna determine the direction of the politics. So I've always been you know, a, a, a God first guy, a guy of conviction and, and how that influences culture. So for me, everything's always been about how, uh, you know, what culture looks like, what trends there are, what, what's 25 years down the road gonna look like. So the next evolution for me was to get into, um, you know, to look at this political realm. And so I've always been interested in, you know, politics. I've always been a political commentator, a political humorist. You know, when I got started, I was actually doing television and radio. And I had this wild idea while I was sitting in traffic one day to put my camera phone on the dashboard of the truck and just kind of use it as a therapy session and start talking. Ha having no idea of the level of viewership and virality that was going to take on. And, you know, that was been six years ago now, and it's, it's just took on a life of its own, uh, which led into more television, more opportunities, live shows, these kind of things. And I built such a huge platform and such a huge um, following that I said, you know, I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. I'm not just going to complain about politics. I'm going to get involved with politics. And because it, at some point in time, somebody's got to agitate the waters, right? You know, you, you know, the Bible story about, you know, the, the angel would come down and agitate the waters and the folks yeah. who were, you know, sick, they would, uh, you know, they would um, come down and get in the healing waters. At some point in time, I want to be that guy that, that sort of agitates the waters and says, hey, you know, we got to do something about this. There's, there's some things that are wrong that can be righted. And I, so I've been involved with that. You used a great word, Chad, when you said, passion because for me everything in life starts with your vision like where do you want to be seeing beyond your boundaries seeing beyond your horizons getting a, a vision for the future and you know you know if you're, you're sitting in a room right there you don't know there might be some major wreck outside uh you but you don't know it because because your vision's limited right and i've always encouraged people see beyond your boundaries because when you do that it always leads to passion and i think that passion that thing that gets you up in the morning is when you're so inspired by what you saw that it drives you. And, you know, I say vision leads to passion, passion leads to discipline because you want to make sure that you're doing the right things to get the vision accomplished. And then you got risk, right? Vision comes down to risk. You got to pull that trigger and, and in order to you spend your life in order to accomplish the vision. So for me, I'm, um, you know, I'm one of those guys who's built his life around that that vision, passion, discipline, and risk. And I, I don't like the direction culture takes. I, I don't like the direction that we've, we've, we've gotten so far away from, uh, you know, conviction and so far away from God and so far away from our relationship with God as a culture that we're in a fight for our lives. And so for me, that's what gets me up every day. That's the thing that makes me run my mouth as much as I do because I, I want to I wanna turn that tide 
agitate those waters. And if we can get some people on board to, uh, to say, you know, enough is enough. We're going to stand up. We're going to be men. We're going to be women. We're going to be Americans. You know, we're going to be people that, that are outspoken, people that are bold. And uh, for me, that's the thing that drives me. I have people all the time that say, you know, how do you find enough time to do all the stuff you do? And I'm like, I don't even think about it like that. I'm just a driven person. Um, you know, I've been in meetings all day today, talking with influencer, influential people uh, in the studio all day yesterday. We sang the national anthem last night at the uh, Texas Rangers baseball game. And, uh, you know, tomorrow we'll be back in studio. Then tomorrow night we head to Florida. We do three nights of shows there. And so I, it's just a never-ending thing. But, man, I, I guess I love the chaos. <laughs>